Hello everyone, it, uh, I'm Reza Red, and today I want to talk about how to create master detail designed report in Power BI which you can uh, drill through from one page to another page from your master high level uh, report page to the detailed level uh, report page which has grid style and some more details information about every single item that you are drilling through. So let's check it out how it is possible in Power BI. To get this feature working, you need to have uh, you need to use the drill through filter uh, option in Power BI, which is added quite uh, not very recently in about past year, and uh, it enhanced enhanced uh, a lot as well. Uh, this drill through uh, drill through filter will enable you to drag a field into that section into that page, and then that uh, field can be the field that is passing from the master page to this detailed page. Any page can have this uh, functionality and you can have multiple drill through pages with this functionality. So let's check it out with the sample Power BI report that I have. As you can see in this Power BI report I have a number of charts here, a number of column charts. Most of these are showing sales amount. This is a report I've created from uh, AdventureWorks data source. Most of these are creating, um, um, showing actually sales amount by education categories and some of these by gender and education categories. Uh, I want to create the scenario of a uh, master detail uh, report, means that I want to be able to click on high school or right click go to the details of uh, high school um, sales, like every individual person, customer sales of uh, their sales, their uh, details in high school category, or if I click on partial college, I want to see the details of that. Uh, in this page, as you can see, I do not have that much space. I have another page on the other hand side, which is this page, education category details. Let me enable my zooming tool. Um, education category details as you can see and I want to have this page as my details page so whenever uh, people come from other categories uh, uh, or from master page they could see this detail page filtered for that part of data right now you see this detailed page is showing 29 million dollar sales and 60,000 uh, the total or uh, number of uh, order quantities um, so we want to create that master detail scenario. Let's see how it is possible. First of all, uh, you need to have this detailed page and the name of detail page is important because this is the name that you will see in the drill through section from the master page. So uh, usually it's a good idea to have something like details around it because then you can easily realize that this is going to the details of that part. Uh, that's the first part. Uh, the second part, uh, sorry about this box, uh, the second part is to uh, use this drill through section in your Power BI report in the details page. This drill through section, uh, you should have the field that you want to pass from the master page into this section uh, to the details page. In this scenario, we are passing English education, which was the sales by English education in master page. So English education is the parameter that we are passing here. So in that case, I'll drag and drop English education into the drill through section. When you drag it here, I dragged English education now here. When you drag it here, you will see something like a filter that you have the option to select something, but you should not select anything. It is just dragging this item here will enable you to have a drill through functionality. When you add this, you also see a back button added at the top left hand corner of your detail page. This is the button that you need to go back to the previous page. So from user point of view, when they come from master page to the detail page, then they click on this back button and they go back to the master page. Okay, so this all, uh, uh, things that you need to get working. This back button can be customized a little bit. I can make it slightly bigger. I can even go to the fill section and change the color of that to something else. I can change the rotation of that. Let's say I rotate it 45 degrees. 
uh, these are all fine the only thing that you should be uh, careful in this back button is the action of this back button action of this back button should be back which means it is going to back to the previous page right everything else you can customize it. Uh, so now let's go to the master page and see how this uh, functionality works I'll go to the master page Okay, now from this master page, we want to go to, to the details page. And um, because we already dragged the, the education, uh, English education into the drill through, whenever I right click on any of these categories, I will see this drill through option and I will see the education category details. This is exactly the name that we determined for that page. That is why I mentioned that the name is kind of, uh, something that you need to be careful to be self-explanatory so when i click on this now we are going from high school when i click on this i will see only high school education category here this is the sales of only high school and the order quantity of only high school this page is now showing me the details of high school if i go back to go back make sure you use control click on this uh, button as long as you are in Power BI Desktop. When you are in Power BI Service uh, or User View, it would be just normal click. But in Power BI Desktop, use Control Click. That goes back. And then I go to, let's say, Partial High School, drill through, and I see Partial High School. So easily you created a master detail scenario. From master page, you come to the details page. Uh, and this is easily possible like that. Now, there are a few things that you need to consider when you create this master detail page. First of all, um, you uh, it would be good to have a, a header somewhere here that explain which uh, education category or which category we are in. In this case, partial high school, I want to show it here. Um, you can use a card visual, just a normal card visual here. And for that card visual, just use the education, uh, English education, that is the category that we are passing. Now, when you add a field in uh, card visual, usually it picks the first item for that field. Uh, the aggregation that comes with that usually is the first, uh, which is in this case fine because uh, when you have only one item selected, first or last of that item is always that item itself, right? So um, it doesn't matter even if it is last or if it is first, you should still get the selected uh, education category. The only thing you need to be careful is to remove this first education, English education, because it may be a little bit confusing for users. So I'll go to the formatting and I remove category labels. Instead, I will add a title and I call it education. I put it in the center and this is the education. So now in this scenario, if I go back to the master partial college, for example, drill through, I see education is partial college. Uh, and when you do that, then you don't need this English education column and you can use that space for some other work. So that's how you implement um, the master detail scenario. Another important thing in this scenario is that uh, is a functionality called keep all filters, uh, which is by default on. This option is added um, about a few months after introducing this feature, and it's a very powerful option. Let me explain how this works. Uh, let's assume that um, you want to go to the details from this part, from let's say, a male category of high school, female category of high school, or male category of high school. This is not just education. This is also another category. This is female and male. So you are passing two filters to the details page. And now when this feature is uh, on, when this uh, option is on, keep all filters on, it means that it will pass all the filters. That is why it's in keep all filters. So even though I don't have the uh, gender in the real true section, I just have English education, it will still pass that details. Let's see how it works. Uh, I right click on male high school, the black one is male, and then I drill through here. Then in this section, I only see male and high school. 
even though I do not have the gender in drill through section, even if I have only one, because keep all filters is on, it will automatically bring any other filters with that. If you just want to restrict it into the filters that you want to pass through, then turn it off and only add those filters in that section. Uh, usually a very good option to have it on. Similar to the way that we used um, this option to add a header for um, selected education category, I can copy it and add a header for selected gender as well. I'll bring gender here and in this case, instead of education, I change the title to be gender. So this is selected gender, selected education. Now, uh, easily when you go to a section like partial college female, it is only showing me female partial college. It's a easy way of creating master detail scenario. Now, um, one other important thing to consider is that when you have this scenario, when you have multiple drill through options, sometimes when you don't drill through by one of those, Let's say if I go back and drill through from graduate degree here, this time I'm not drilling through by gender, female and male, there is no female and male here. This is all the graduate degree section, drill through. Uh, when I use that, I get both female and male because um, I haven't selected male or female. So that is why I get fem female and male both together. However, in my... Um, header information here it is only showing female and the reason for that is that it is getting the first gender in this scenario i have two gender as a result female and male and that is why i get uh, only one of those because card visual usually show one item you have two options to fix it one option is to um, create something like a, a, put a visual that shows multiple values like a multi-row card visual or a table visual and then put uh, gender on it. That is one way of doing it. Uh, or another way of doing it is to get some help with DAX. I can write a measure in DAX that find out what item is selected. So let me show you how this is possible. I'll create a measure in uh, this table and I call this measure selected gender. Uh, you can use the selected value function. Selected value function easily tell you what item is selected and we are looking at gender column. So selected value of gender column. If something is selected, return that gender. If it is not selected, if uh, or let's say multiple items selected, let's say I want a text uh, output as all. Selected value is very simple. If something is selected from that field, it will return that value. Otherwise, it will return this default value. Now I can use that in my card visual here. Selected gender. And you can see it is showing all when I have multiple selected. When I have only one item selected, it is showing me that single item so easily you create a dax measure which give you the ability to um, to write uh, uh, to find out what item is selected there are many other ways of writing this in dax this is only one of those uh, and the last thing about this uh, drill through option is that you can have multiple drill through pages like for let's say this is my uh, this is another page of mine and i want also this page to be a drill through option so I drag education into the drill through filter here. And now when I go to master page and right click drill through, I will see both items, right? Uh, here is both items now. Uh, so you can have multiple drill through, one drill through to this section, another drill through to that section, different uh, options for drill through. This uh, functionality will make uh, much easier, uh, will make the master detail scenario much easier for you. As you saw in this example, creating a master detail uh, scenario was very simple with Power BI. You can easily have a master page from that master page from that uh, section, the 
header section, the header category section, you can drill into the detail section into another page, you can have multiple details page and the ability to keep all filters enables you to have everything that you have in your master page to be passing to your details page. Very simple scenario but very useful in a lot of scenarios when you want to create a drill through environment. Uh, if you are interested to learn more about these kind of videos, go ahead and subscribe in the button below. We'll publish more Power BI videos, learning videos uh, in this YouTube channel uh, from now on.